Hey everybody, it's Rick O'Shea, playing MPQ Marvel Puzzle Quest. Thanks for jumping on the video today. We're going to get into a nice rush of points in the Season Shield Simulator. We're going to try to get up plenty over a thousand if we can today. There's only a few days left, over um, just over four days left to get into that 2,000 point level for the four star character cover reward. Redshift is the Versus event that just opened here today featuring 3-star Scarlet Witch. That's going to be a lot of fun. And I'll point out that uh, the Angel PvP just finished. It was the first time, I believe, that we featured 3-star Angel and uh, got a top 10 finish. And so did our Alliance. So pretty proud of that. Good job. Good work, everybody, in the Medusa's Lair. Let's go on real quick into the daily quest, though. We just got a couple of nodes we're going to work through and um, get into that uh, shield simulator, then we'll pull some tokens, or we'll do tokens in between, see how the time frame looks. All right, uh, let's see. The team that I was going to use is the required character of the day was three-star Captain America. He is really good at the three-star level, much more than the, the two-star version of, of, um, of the cap. Now, I thought of a couple of cool teams, or at least interesting and uh, a character that doesn't get a lot of play that but does pretty well with cap is hood he's got active purple uh, i mean active yellow and black abilities to go along with caps red and blue i don't very often use captain america's yellow so that'll be good for hood if we get there still costs 15 so it's expensive but hood's got some nice passive side of his uh, abilities and can reduce caps countdown tiles that leaves a purple and green choice character to use anybody and there's a lot of different purple green users to bring along i thought since you know um, we could find somebody that also uses countdowns or something like that but jubilee is pretty new let's bring her in she's definitely a purple and green as well all right so we're going to take on six enemies into the big enchilada i think we're going to be able to run through this pretty quickly but let's try to focus on Cap's abilities first. And here's a black that drops red. Yeah, we're starting off in a pretty good shape because here's a blue that drops a four shot of purple. Jubilee's purple is a pretty expensive ability. But I think with Hood on the team, earning AP passively whenever there's more than nine of a color on the board... Uh, stealing it from the enemy, meaning that they have to have that color to be able to steal it. I think this team's going to work pretty well in building up our expensive powers. Those bots automatically earn, I think, blue and black AP. Let's see. One of them earns green. Yep, green and blue. Oh, they both are green and blue. Got it. So if there's a lot of green and blue on the board, we're going to earn those colors automatically. Go for a purple here. Lines up a red match if we get it. Cyclops is likely to go for it. Good. He left the red match for us. So now all we have to do is get cap rolling on red. And this is going to be really bad news for the enemy team. Let's go ahead and one shot this guy. It's plenty overkill for him. Let's see. Which countdown tiles does he control? That one. So we don't need to take that one out since that will go away. One shot on him, and we got to keep that countdown tile safe. The enemy team's already up to six in yellow. We got to keep yellow away from Cyclops because he'll place a lot of red tiles on the board, making our countdown tile a lot more vulnerable. In one turn, we'll get that back, and we have to knock this guy out right here, no problem. Let's see. Not a good set of matches. We'll just go for black. So Hood's black ability doesn't do a lot of damage at all. In fact, I even have it set at cover level 3. But it does a good thing for your team. It reduces your countdown tiles by a turn. Meaning with Captain America, you get the countdowns off the board sooner. But more importantly, you get the AP back that they return to you sooner. So you can keep firing his shields out at the enemy team. Let's go for this yellow here. So seven black, they very well might use Psylocke's black or uh, red, 
let's see, Psylocke's black ability before trying to save up for Cyclops. Purple match, one more purple AP, and we'll already be able to play one of Jubilee's best abilities. We've got a match four in purple. Perfect. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and qualify that. Now it's ready to play. Did get hit by a Psy Katana. Perfect. I think this is a good spot here. All right. Light Show does pretty darn good damage, really. Fifty-one eighty-six. So that's enough to knock out the guy in front. That's what we want. And it'll stun two of the other enemies. It might actually stun the enemy that comes in when this guy's eliminated. Uh, so we don't have a guarantee it'll be Cyclops or Psylocke. But I think this is a good moment to play this. Let's do this right about... Let's play this one here and this one here. Maybe we'll get some automatic color matches. Not too much on automatic matches, but we stunned a new Empiricist and Cyclops. That's fine. Okay. Let's keep the Empiricist up front. We want to make sure and get him out pretty quickly. All right. So we have a red ready to play and almost a green. There's our green. Now we can really start rolling with Cap. Want to get his blue ready, but that's okay. We can go for this. Let's hit Psylocke out since she's the only one that isn't stunned. And we can put her red in a spot that does something good. How about take out that attack tile? I think that'll be pretty safe there. She's out. No new enemies yet. We have um, both characters are stunned, so it's a good time to go ahead and play Hood's well, let's let's play let's play Roman Candle first. It'll replace enemy special tiles. Get rid of that protect tile and charge some others. Great. Now let's play Hood's. Let's play his Intimidation. That'll reduce the countdown timer to two. Excellent. We'll play it again for a little bit of damage. The countdown tile is down to one. That means we can play Twin Pistols in a couple of spots that make sense, like that. And since it's a turn-ending ability, doesn't matter. The enemy's stunned anyway, and we get our turn back first right here. Just in time to play this. Put it wherever you want. Doesn't matter if it makes a match. It is over. Took almost no damage. And we're through the match and get our three-star Captain America cover for the progress. Some good rewards. All right, moving on, let's get through the Behemoth Burrito as quickly as possible. This one will go fast. This is a great team automatically. I have a championed four-star Carnage, along with three-star Doc Ock and two-star Dakin. This should be pretty quickly, uh, go pretty quickly. We're only going to use Carnage abilities here. By the way, thanks for jumping on the chat. If you want to say hi to the viewers, anyone else, that would be great. When I see your name come across, I'll be more than happy to give you a shout out for seeing the chat stream. So Carnage automatically creates attack tiles every turn. Stronger ones for you than he places for the enemy. That's great. Pe uh, paired up with Doc Ock is a really good combo because every time you match an enemy special, like we're going to do right now, he'll create his own attack tiles on black to really boost up the damage that we're doing every turn. We got, I'll, I'll try to fire off some powers, but we really may not even get that far. Let's start hitting Kamala now. I think we've got a jump start on Black Widow. We'll go for green and red, since that's the Carnage color abilities, or uh, colors for his abilities. Not too much going on with available matches. We'll, if we can't get red or green, we'll try to match away enemy specials like you should be. Look at that. 1,800 damage after the fact already. 
This is going to knock Kamala out. Let's leave her in for a second for fun. Don't see an enemy special match available this time. What do we do? Well, hmm. try to line up a red match somehow. I don't see it. I hate to match our own attack tiles, but that's fine. Match four in blue will take it. You see, we fortified an attack tile. That is a support that I put onto Carnage. Uh, there's a 8% or maybe 5% chance to fortify a special tile due to the Hydra henchman support, and that's the first time I've seen it work. Pretty cool. Oh, I raise it up, so it's a 10% chance to fortify enemy special. There's not a lot of enemies, though, that create special tiles in the 4 and 5 star realm. Some 3 stars do. But with a 10% chance, about every 10 turns, you should get a fortification on one of your enemy specials. Or one of your special tiles. Alright. Can we get a green ability to fire off? I think we're going to get it. That's going to be the end of Kamala, and we're going to get one ability played right here, and just in time to hit Black Widow. hate doing this move when there's an extra move on the board, but otherwise we're not going to get to play an ability. Let's get the animations back on. And this should do it. If not, we should be able to take her out after the fact. That's a win. I like Carnage, his red ability, too. Uh, just couldn't get enough red in time to win the match. No problem. That's damage output efficiency. All right, so it's a new day in the Deadpool's Daily Quest cycle. So the Crash of the Titans, I'm not going to play it today. I save it for day three or four of the cycle. This is against four-star Gamora, and it's a really tough one. We are um, required to use four-star Luke Cage, and... It, while he can dish out a whole lot of damage, he is um, usually a lot more helpful with other teammates in the fight. So by himself, it's going to be pretty tough to beat, but people are winning, so let me know how it goes for you. All right, let's move over to the... Um, let's do our tokens first, and then we'll get into the shield season simulator. Got a lot of heroics, thankfully, to uh, thanks to current midweek lightning rounds. We've got 37 standards as well. Let's run off 25 of these. That'll leave 12 for next time. There's our three-star already. That's great to see these hitting again. I went on a dry spell. Captain America in already, or Captain Marvel in already, and we get the three-star bullseye as our reward. Great. Now we just need some two stars. Definitely need some twos. Got behind on the two star farming. Finally getting some maxed out again. There's a two. Great. So the simulator, we're going to have to... The only problem for me in the season simulator is we just have to use at least one or two five stars in those fights because all of my matchmaking is going to pull up teams that have five stars on them. There's another three, and it's Vision. Okay, well, that's a good hit because we get the bullseye as our reward, but that means I have to champion Vision for the second time ever in within two weeks. Fourteen days before covers expire, and I don't want those to expire, so I have Vision at 13 covers on the second build of him. And we're down to 15. There we go. Stop there. We'll come back to the Elites and Heroics before we're done. Let's move over. We got a support token. Let's do that now. That should be a pretty good chance at a Tier 2 or 3 support. Could be a Tier 1. Chances are 1 in 20 for a Level 3. And 1 in 3 for a Level 2. Hopefully it's a new support that I don't have already. But if we get a duplicate, it'll mean a lot of Red ISO. Here we go. We did get a duplicate of the Pizza Dog, Lucky, and it was just level 1, but that's 1,400 red ISO. That's quite a bit quite a bit in one shot. I'll take it. 
All right, moving on. We have six tokens from the Angel PvP, and that should mean that hopefully we get at least a three star from this group. Let's see how we do. Guaranteed two stars or above. You get three tokens on your way up through 850 points, and then up to two or three tokens additionally, depending on how your alliance finishes. Oh, barely got the gold, and it's a Black Panther. Great. All right, the Heroes for Hire has been an interesting set of offers lately. This is probably the first one I won't do. My Medusa is already my second highest, no, my, my fully highest leveled character, so I don't need to build her up. And Carnage is fine. I don't think I need to make that purchase. And it's getting to be pretty expensive for the uh, Shield Level 9 pack. Uh, the, the other additional items included are great, and it's a good rate on your rewards for the hero points. But I think I'm going to pass on that one. Uh, just so you know, the 5,400 hero points included in that offer could immediately go toward buying the Nick Fury deal for more um, you know, more uh, supports and other items included with that. So you could think about it. It helps the game. That'll be great. So we've got Luke Cage as the uh, featured Heroes for Hire character, and looks like the next one will be Mr. Fantastic in a few days. All right, moving on. Venom Bomb, five tokens. Let's see if we can get a three star or better from these five tokens. And my hero point stash has taken a little bit of a hit. I had to shield a whole bunch in the versus event. It was more competitive than usual. There is a support token again. Great. That'll be a good chance at a bunch more of red ISO or a support I don't have. And there is a red Psylocke. Excellent. We'll do the daily deal here. We've got to hurry this up so we can get in some action. All right. We're done on Venom Bomb until we get a next run of tokens from the end of the daily sub. We'll wait on the Taco Vaults. Royal Talon Fighter is the vault that's created to offer supports for the new 5-star Okoye or other... Uh, Wakanda related supports and there's good other items in here as well. Let's give it a shot Just a Magneto we'll have to hit that one up a little bit more. There's only 18 hours left Hopefully I can get one more try in that one before it's out Thanks for jumping on the chat guys if you want to say hi, please do I'm more than welcome to give you a shout out on your names and uh, gives the viewers a little more interaction than I seem to provide myself. I'm not that good at watching the chat yet while I run. Here we go. Got a gold from an elite token, and it's Squirrel Girl. Wow, we've had a huge rush, rush of covers for her lately. And another gold, back-to-back. -back. Beast. Nice. All right, we're over to the heroics. We've got 12 of these. That is a decent shot at getting a four-star from this run of tokens, since the odds are 1 in 14 of the of any of the four stars with with uh, increased odds at the most recent ones. I have Black Panther set as our bonus hero for the four star group. Let's go. Look at that guys, the viewer luck has kicked in huge. On the first try, we got the four star. Place your bets right now. Who do you think it's going to be? I'll hit it down in 5 4 3 2 1 go. Hey, oh man, I thought it was going to be Agent Venom, but it is Eddie Brock Venom. That's fine. The reason I was thinking Agent Venom is because he is going to be boosted here um, starting tomorrow for the week. But I'll take it, uh, Eddie Brock Venom. His yellow is an excellent ability when the enemy team has projectiles on the board. Very cool. We get a four-star bonus. Viewer luck again. That is great. We need to make a rush on Black Panther. Trying to build him up so that we can get another level in our 5-star Panther. Great. Wow. Talk about hit and run. Uh, running great so far. Let's see if we can get any more gold. We already used up a lot of luck. Figure we'll get some 2-stars in a row now. 
There's another gold. That's at least a three star. Thor, cool. All right, right after these tokens, guys, we're going to get into the season simulator and get on a points rush, try to get through at least the thousand point level. Got a gold, and it's Iron Fist. Three more tokens. Another gold. Guys are doing great today. Human Torch. Bonus. Bullseye. The system loves giving bullseye. Whoa, there it is. Look at that. Out of 12 tokens, we got two different four stars on the draws. Here we go. Count it down. One, two, three. Four star rocking a Groot. One of the most important four stars to have on your team when you're in four star land. What a hit. We got to do the daily special. We're running way too good. All right, it's just a two-star, but we wouldn't have known if you didn't pull it. <laughs> nice job. All right, let's go to the uh, character rewards quick, and then we'll get through that and head over to the simulator points rush. Need to get a few more levels on this bullseye. Oh, we're going to be one short of max champing. No problem. We'll get another one for him soon, and he'll be maxed out. Cool. Storm. Level up. Moonstone gets a few levels. 132 now. Cap is a re-champ. Uh, I just champed him up within the last day or two. For, for like the 12th or 13th or 20th time, it seems like. All right, Magneto. 137, good. A lot of these are getting to be max champ, near max champ level. Feel a lot better when they're built up because they're kind of an ISO savings bank for selling out. All right, that's it for the twos. Let's go to the threes. Bunch more bullseye. Here we go, guys. Four command points. ISO and ISO. 217. We only need... Six more covers to get a kingpin that will also turn into a five-star daredevil cover, and then that will turn into a legendary recruit token. Finally, all that work is going to pay off pretty soon. Torch goes up a notch. Good rewards there. Level 200 for Iron Fist. Thor, three-star. Gets the 183 level for the four-star Red Hulk. Nice. Beast is a little ahead, 206. And Squirrel Girl has got a huge run toward getting up to 183. And the next cover, she will award a Ant-Man. Nice. Black Panther takes a spot to 211. The Vision will wait on him and Psylocke for a second. Captain Marvel. 218 coming back around the run pretty well and cap should be getting pretty big at 237 got a max champ version of him that i won't sell and look at all the scarlet witch from the events uh progression and placement rewards let's move her up quite a bit one eighty seven and i have a max champ version of her that i might sell we'll see if i need the iso all right, we're saving on Vision for champing soon. We've got Psylocke and Iron Man to handle. Let's go to Psylocke. At least I know we can add her in right here, and this is a good one. Her red takes her to 5-5-3. Five, five, so the next time we get a Psylocke cover, we will need to champion this duplicate version of herself, and we'll actually have room on her nearly max champ self there we go. She's at 263, so she can take three more covers there before we have to do that. Cool. Same thing with Vision at 264. Got a little bit of room to to work with. Okay. Actually, what did I go back too far? Let's go. Let's do this on Vision. Let's get him done. Is yeah. We don't have to wait. We don't. We can add those covers into his nearly max champ self. He's get 335. Let's go to the. Let's go to Vision over here. It's a big, big day for him. I should have 
paid attention, we can do this. We can get the level 265 reward for a wasp cover and finish him up at 266, 15,400 health, max champ vision. Awesome. Okay, last couple rewards. Threes are done for now. Right, and the four stars. All right, let's add in the wasp. She goes to 291. Nice to move her up a level. Red Hulk, 297, 3000 ISO is the reward. Wow, nice. Rockin' and Groot moves up to 302, almost 17,000 health. And here's Black Panther, 288. Have a legendary token at 290, and then a Black Panther 5 star reward cover at level 300. Move it up a spot on Venom to 286. And Nick Fury was the reward for the end of the Angel versus event. So we'll add that cover in. And look at that. He gets us another legendary token to hit that 290 mark. Great. That is it. Double check there's no five stars. Let's move on to this Shield Season Simulator. Let's see how many fights we can get in. As we go over the 1,000 point mark, we'll make a, make a big rush. We actually have a little bit more time to play in this stream, so we're going to do a little bit better than I have. Let's play with... We've got Gladiator Thor in a good spot. Let's play with Daredevil, since that's uh, similar to the team we're going to be against. And then we'll bring a 4-star that um, might help these guys out a little bit with colors. Or, let's see, let's see, what do we want to do here? Um, there's a lot of four stars that make sense here. Let's go with, this will be the first time I bring Nico in with this group, just for fun. And we probably won't use her purple because we'll be using Daredevils. So, let's move her blue up and her purple down. We might use her yellow, might not. Now, normally her purple is a great power to use, but uh, if, you have, if you have a champion... 5-star Daredevil, you probably should use his. Here we go. Let's give this a shot. I think our team can beat this team. Now, they have Jessica Jones on their side, and she is dangerous on defense against us. So, um, what do we want to do here? Probably want to take her on first, and rather would would rather not use do a lot of Thor matches first but let's start off with Daredevil we got a two hit combo there they're probably going to get a oh I set them up too big wow <laughs> oh that's so bad so bad not only did I get Daredevil knocked out but I also um, got a damning evidence against my team immediately Rick the Pro is at it again, guys. Doing it great. Well, I don't know if we're going to be able to get this through to a win, but we're going to try our best. This might be a huge fail. All that red already? Oh, wow. I should have had Nico take that one. So we still have a fighting chance here. Probably not too much. We'll play Nico's yellow to get protectiles out. She can buff them to pretty high levels right away. Um, but we're in big trouble, so big time trouble. Let's do, we almost have our green ability. Thor's in, tr in big danger here, but yeah, it's too late. With those strike tiles, he's going out. All right, guess what? back out that was not going to work wow what a loss okay we lose zero points but that was not part of the plan that's what not to do guys let's go down here to a 73 point node okay i think we can take on this team we'll go ahead and heal thor daredevil's gonna take too long all right let's get back into this I think we're going to be able to let these guys win. And it's okay if they take some damage because I like to play them at about 50% health. So here we go. 
I know there was a match four in black. We don't use black, so I'll rather get purple going ahead of the enemy team. Uh, let's see. Okay. The dangerous colors for the enemy team are red, purple, and black, mostly for because of Black Widow, and um, a lot of green for for uh, back in Black Spidey. But but uh, it takes so much green for him to do that. I'm not too concerned about preventing it from them, and I'll be going for green for the most part. So we got Nico injured just a little bit. That means she can uh, she'll have her countdown tile out, and that means she can also play a dish, different uh, powers from her power set. Nice extra move for Red. Look at that. He is already down that far. So let's switch over to focus on Black Widow. And we'll save our purple stun for when it makes the most sense. Probably save it for when... Yeah, I think we'll probably save it for when uh, Old Man Logan is last remaining. Oh man, look out. Sets him up to 12 black immediately. Now we have to change our course. We better stun Black Widow. Hmm. She has a, an ability that costs only 10. I don't know if she's going to play red in my ledger or if they're going to play. Let's take a chance that they don't play her ability that they're actually going to go for Old Man Logan's black ability, and that would place a bunch of strike tiles on the board. That'll end the turn. Oop, they played red in my ledger. Well, that's too bad. I was hoping they were going to play Old Man Logan Strike Tiles. That would mean that while we play Daredevil's Stun ability, we'll steal those Strike Tiles over to our side. Not that big a deal. All right, so the Strikes from OML, we'll just knock that one out. And continue from here. There we go. So we have our green ready to play, red and purple. This is going to do it for sure. Let's stun Old Man Logan. Steal those couple strikes. Now we can play the team damage from God of Thunder. It's going to knock out a couple enemies. There we go. This is, hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and take her out. It's way overkill on that red shot. But while he's stunned for two turns, we're really going to do a lot of damage to Old Man Logan. So is there any two-move combos or anything on here? I don't really see it, but we can get our purple ready to fire off again if we need to. Yeah, this is going to end it. Sonar Strike adds additional damage onto the moves we're doing, and that that's how that first fight pretty much should have gone. Okay, up to 861. We get another three-star reward here pretty soon. There's a 74-point enemy team awesome they're using black bolt who's going to create charge tile so let's take a quick look at how well gambit can do when the enemy team uses charge tiles and just for fun let's bring in hawkeye and let's see here let's bring in carol and i think we better train her back to five and green for this Spec her around depending on who the team is. I always leave black at five for the most part, but yellow and green you can change around a little bit. Okay, so let's start targeting black bolt, I guess. And there's a match four in purple right off the bat. I think what we're going to do, though, is get this red that drops a purple match automatically because red is so important on this team with Gambit. Um, and there's a red match above, but I want to match just many charge tiles away when you're facing Black Bolt. You want to match those charge tiles as soon as you can so that he doesn't get to his automatic damage. Now, we can already play Gambit's red ability. Let's go for blue. 
Cool, he charged black again, so we'll just match those two away, and they do extra damage for charge tiles. Nice. Now we have 11 red. Green doesn't help us much, so I think let's go ahead and start here. Let's hit Black Bolt with an Aces and Eights. Does really good damage and charges some different tiles. We picked up a bunch of black, allowing us to play Carol's amazing ability. And let's see. We need to stay ahead of the enemy team in at least three AP, three AP colors so that America Chavez, I don't want her to start placing charge tiles on the board because that'll injure us pretty badly. They have three purple. We can play Raging Cajun and we'll still have more than three purple. Five. All right. Let's knock out some charge tiles. Great. I think everything's going just about according to plan here. We have a match four that destroys this black charge tile perfectly while also getting a blue match above. Let's do it with Hawkeye in front. Yeah, this is going to be a real backfire for poor Black Bolt. He is out. And with all those charged tiles on the board, let's go ahead and give America a shot. She'll be just about out from this, if not all the way. Don't have to worry about her. This match is going really pretty well. We can play another couple of arrows. You want to take out Phoenix last because if you take her out too soon, she can resurrect herself against your team. We'll get a red charge tile match that's worth 5 AP, and then with Gambit earning red every turn, we'll be able to play aces and eights again, and this will be this will be it. With all those strikes and another turn after the shot. What a win. For pretty good points. 74 points gets us a Scarlet Witch cover and up to 935. Need 65 more points to break 1,000. That's running pretty quick. We've got time for a couple more fights anyway. Let's see. Some of these nodes are going to be small. There's 73. Another America team. Here we go, 37. We should be able to skip till we get some pretty high cues. Here's a normal team. And let's skip this guy. See who we get here. 66 for a Gambit team. Okay. And we'll skip a one-point node, I suppose. 73 for a really tough team. That's probably one of the toughest ones I don't necessarily want to fight. And there's another Gambit Specialized team. Okay, we'll save that for later. Let's take on these guys. It should be a pretty routine battle, and we don't have to use Gambit every time in it. Let's go for Thanos, Carol, and how about our own... Hmm, who do we want to run here? Let's run our own Black Bolt in this and see how it goes. So Black Bolt's going to charge the most prevalent color on the board. Right now it could be blue, I would guess. So because of that, I don't really want blue to be charged. Let's make sure we match some blue away. Really want to make a big rush on green. Yep, he charged blue. So we, really have, we need to take that out of here. I don't want to have them get blue, and blue doesn't help our team at all. So... Maybe we can get some of this blue knocked out. Still more blue. Ugh, I hate to even match it, but... Red is their team's strongest color, so every time they match it, they're going to earn black for us, which is our strongest color, because of Thanos, but it really helps Carol. Let's place that there. Now let's see. I need to get... 
some of this blue off of here. I really hate to even match blue since it doesn't help us, but I didn't realize what that would that that would be their enemy team's strongest color. Green drops black, perfect. Now we've got a bunch of charge tiles on the board, and Black Bolt is going to automatically damage the enemy team whenever there's four on the board. What I need to do is hurry up and get green and yellow AP built up. We're almost there, and uh, we can decimate the enemy team here in just a little bit. want to get want to get Iron Man down to about 20,000 health all right so we have our yellow ready to go we just need to find out a way to get the last couple of green we need it's available on the board and we're going to do a photonic barrage that's gonna be a huge hit on Iron Man let's actually move over to surfer for this big damage oh man look at we left him a nice extra move oh man that's gonna be tough a ton of red for him but we're in really good shape if this takes him down to all right twenty nine thousand here's what we're gonna do we have yeah we need to hurry this up all right let's play carol's black Let's play, wish we had one more yellow match and we're going to get hit pretty hard because of that red over there. All right, um, but to do it the best way, let's let Black Bolt take a hit here. That's going to hurt. It's probably going out right here. No problem, this match is over. Now that we've got that additional yellow and here's why. Let's go ahead and play Thanos' green ability for his countdown tile. We'll play Executive Decision on that to knock Iron Man down under 20,000 health. Now we'll use another yellow to, ex to uh, reduce Thanos' green ability, and here we go. Team damage of over 20,000 apiece. Court Death will then hit the rest of the enemy team, and it's just about over with one more shot. That's a pretty fun team when it works. Definitely didn't want to lose Black Bolt there, but I set him up for tons of red. And that's what you get. We hit 1,000 points. And guys, we've got time for one more fight. Let's get into it. Who do we want? 72-point node featuring Thor, America, and Archangel. Should we fight them with a similar team let's see here what would be a little bit more fun I got an idea we'll fight Thor with Thor that sounds fine but I have an idea let's try to get let's troll this guy a little bit by using hmm who's gonna be fun Daredevil's so good, so is Hawkeye. Let's play with Hawkeye because I have an idea. Let's go all the way down here to our brand new four-star Black Widow, who isn't rated very high, but I think if we use her correctly, she'll be very safely tanked behind the other characters, and her yellow and black ability are going to come in really handy with this couple of guys here. Let's see if we can do this. So in this case, let's give... Got an extra move in black right on the starting board. Hmm, who do we... I guess we want to hit Thor with that. Let's start there. So the critical tile can hit... Let's do the yellow, or the purple that drops a yellow critical tile hit. So we need to make sure we stay ahead of them on AP, though. That's the dangerous part. So they got a bunch of purple... Let's move over to really want to make a run on yellow so that we can play Black Widow's yellow ability as soon as possible. It's a it's a pretty good ability in the fact that it reduces your AP costs for powers. 
Now I better bit you better get some other colors here. They're gonna catch up to me. They have more green and blue than we do. So let's get blue. Oh boy, they just moved up big time in purple. And purple doesn't help us with an ability much. Um, we'll get green here. All right, our Thor has entered God mode. That means he's going to be earning AP every turn now. So we shouldn't have to worry about gathering specifically yellow and um, red and green AP too much. Let's go blue that gets more yellow anyway. Now we're in really good shape. Their Thor is about half health. I probably shouldn't have let him get hit down that far without going over to... Let's, let's unload our abilities, though. I think this is going to be fine. We're going to play Brush Pass and put a little bit of health back onto Hawkeye. Why not? Don't want to give too much to Thor, or he may go above his threshold for uh, being in God mode. Let's play Lights Out and Stun Enemy Thor so he can't destroy tiles against us too much. And now that our costs are so cheap, Bola Arrow only costs 3. Explosive Arrow costs 3. As Guardian Tactics is very inexpensive, let's go ahead and hit... Hmm... Let's hit Thor with that, just so that he's within striking distance of knocking out in a couple turns here. All right, I think we're in pretty good shape, and we might as well have Black Widow go invisible with her Defilade. That means when we become visible again, she can remove enemy special tiles if they start creating them. Okay, I think we're in good shape. Let's go with... Uh, what do we want to do here? Probably... Probably this. I don't want to get a, I don't want to line up a blue match for them. Oh, uh, that's too bad he played that countdown tiles on green. That means we can't earn green AP no matter how hard we want to try. Huh. All right. I was hoping to get green AP. Well, let's send Hawkeye up front. I hate to have the lineup in blue there. Got a stun coming right here for America. Oh, Explosive Arrow hit her first. Good, she's out, and then we'll just stun him. Perfect. Okay, we still have a Brush Pass out for a turn. Let's play Enfilade, and it'll remove his countdown tiles off of green. And we also earned the AP for that, by the way, so just make sure you know that going in. We still have um, Brush Pass out there, so our arrows are so cheap with Hawkeye. Uh, let's see, we have... Let's play Deep Breath here once. Because it hits really hard if we have a lot of red AP, and we're going to have it in a minute. This guy isn't going to last too much longer. Could have done the match for in blue, but we don't need any more blue, I think, for this matchup. With Hawkeye's abilities going nuts, man, this is pretty great. Okay, play Brush Pass again since the other one expired. Get a one random green tile here would be perfect. We did it. And this thing is so over with a deep breath. Boom. Pretty fun team, actually. Just to make Black Widow work in a certain way, I thought she would be okay in certain situations. Other than that, she doesn't do any damage, uh, but just a little bit on her black. So it's, that's going to be pretty tough. Hey, we made it 1,075 points. That makes us feel pretty good that we're going to be able to make the 2,000 point finish within the next four days, I hope. And just to take another quick look, we get some Gamora covers along the way, and at 2,000 we get the last Jubilee cover of yellow, and that's going to take her to perfect 13. Good to go and champ her as soon as it makes sense to do that. Guys, i got to run. I appreciate you being part of the video, and uh, please follow if you haven't already. 
by the way, there's more MPQ out there for some great guys that do a good job at streaming and making videos about MPQ tactics and team ups and all kinds of good strategy. Make sure and hit up Mr. MPQ on YouTube as well as Artem. They do a great job. And if you're sticking in Twitch, hit my videos that we have saved online or go to Killpower559. Guys, great in streams as uh, much as possible times during the week. Thanks again. Have a good one. See you next time.